All right, guys, we got to talk about the Bay Area Rapid Transit, guys. This is going to be the BART, and here you go. This is where all the train subway stations are, and it pretty much connects a decent portion of, like, South San Francisco, some parts of Oakland as well, and it pretty much connects all these areas all the way to downtown San Francisco, right? It dumps everyone essentially on Montgomery Street, which is kind of like, like their big downtown area, and if Montgomery Street is completely empty... Well, guess what? San Francisco is basically a pretty down bad city. And if you check out just like some of the Google Street View of what's going on downtown, it's fairly empty. Like this was a Google car that ran by in January 2023. And look at how deserted the streets are. Whereas before the pandemic, this used to be bustling with people, people walking around every single day and just tourists everywhere. But look at it. There's almost like there's more cars than actual people on the road, which is pretty bad. And it shows you that the Bay Area and also their BART ridership is down a lot. Now, here's the thing. There's some pretty big reasons why for such low ridership of the subway station for the Bay Area. And it's pretty simple. The city is a pretty bad area to be. And a lot of wealthy people have already left the city, collectively took out several billion dollars from the pool in San Francisco. These rich people are going to Las Vegas, they're going to Austin, they're going to a lot of the Florida cities like Miami, for example. And this is one of the reasons why BART ridership is so low. Almost 200,000 office workers don't want to go to San Francisco for work. They much rather just work online. And companies are pretty chill about it too because they're like, okay, if we just work online, we're going to save a whole lot of money. And our workers will be pretty happy as well. In fact, so many companies right now are actually really happy with remote work because it's simple, it's quick. And even Airbnb, one of the most loyal tenants of San Francisco, has already decided to close down several other office spaces around 888 Brandon Street and just have one major location, which is this warehouse here, Airbnb HQ, and this is where they work. And they don't have any other locations in San Francisco anymore. I mean, if you look at, for example, the Salesforce Tower, it's also pretty empty. You also have several other skyscrapers around it being completely vacant because Salesforce left, Slack left. You also have Facebook vacating all the way out of 181 Fremont. So you do see this massive office vacancy in downtown San Francisco. No wonder the ridership is so low. I mean, check this out, okay? You just have people casually smoking fentanyl on the BART system. No wonder people don't want to take the subway in San Francisco. And remember, the subway in San Francisco is pretty bad. It's not a great place to be. And if you compare this train station to other train stations around the world, like Tokyo, Shanghai, Singapore, it makes ours look like some sort of a third world country subway system. And it sucks, okay? And I mean, look at this. I mean, the subway station is absolutely crazy in San Francisco. I've never seen this before. I mean... You also have people just high and addicted to drugs. Hey, I kind of see why nobody wants to take the subway. On top of that, those office workers who did get a choice to pick being in the office or being remote, they see stuff like this every single day. It really turns you off from even wanting to take public transportation to work. And a lot of guys take public transportation to work. I mean, if you check out what's going on down in San Francisco, there's barely any tourism. And there's barely any fun. Okay, one of the reasons why so many people want to buy real estate in San Francisco before the pandemic was simple. You got a lot of startups and a lot of fun things to do. But now with no business is willing to station the headquarters in San Francisco, with many of them downgrading their office space and so many of these cool shops and restaurants and stores being closed, why would you ever go to San Francisco, right? Look at this. I know I've showed this video a few times already, but this is the morning commute for San Francisco. Look at how empty this is, guys. Do you see anyone? Not really. You might see like two guys over there in the far distance, but that's it. This is very eerie. This is really weird. This is a morning commute on a Monday when it's supposed to be jam-packed with people. I've seen a lot of posts about the BART network. Like before the pandemic, everyone's like, yeah, it's like super crowded all the time. And you actually got to catch it as well. But now people are like, yeah, it's pretty empty. And if you look at some of the videos of you know new workers in San Francisco in the train cars, they, it's actually pretty empty. Like a whole train car will just have like a few people in it. 
and it just shows you how empty this situation is. And look at this. You know, new report shows thousands of workers have left downtown San Francisco. They don't want to be here, guys. Okay, they don't want to be here at all. This is why vacancies are through the roof. And in one video, I'll probably start talking about this tower right here. It's really interesting. This is like the Trans American Pyramid Building. In fact, vacancies are so high that they're willing to invest like almost a billion dollars to re renovate this whole entire thing, even make like a penthouse bar to get tenants. But like I said before, it's not about the renovations. Renovations could be pretty crap for all I care. It's most about the street conditions, right? San Francisco street conditions are terrible. Okay, go to the Tenderloin District, it's bad, okay? But the Tenderloin District has now fully grown outside its own area to the Civic Center. This is kind of where Uber and Twitter is. It's also going up towards North Trend, like Knob Hill. A lot of the tourist traps are getting a lot of thefts and break-ins. This is the reason why nobody wants to be in San Francisco, guys. Okay, San Francisco has a lot to offer if you guys ever been there. It's actually a pretty dope place. There's something for everyone in a very small amount of area. You got golf courses, you even got like a little Central Park here, you got beaches, you got bridges, cool stuff, okay? There's a lot of culture. This could easily become one of the hottest destinations in the US, but you can't. This can't be the hottest destination in the US. Why is that? It's because of the amount of stuff happening in this whole entire area. You know, a lot of people going nuts. You know, people doing drugs on the streets. Delivery robots are even getting robbed. Postal workers are getting robbed. This is one of the craziest cities I've ever seen. And this is why a lot of people are no longer taking the public transportation. And the public transportation in San Francisco is already taking one of the fattest and biggest beatings ever. In fact, a lot of people don't want to take the public transportation. And the public transportation in the Bay Area, the BART, it's not because of people destroying it, right? It's because nobody's riding it and they're not getting any revenue. And not to mention, to make matters worth, they've even allocated like hundreds of millions of dollars from like, you know, there's the transportation sector to other sectors. You know, if you look at the Salesforce Tower and right next to it, there's this massive transport bay and this massive, really cool sky garden that costs $2.2 billion. Yeah, this sky garden barely has any people in it. I can show you a few videos and I've made several videos about this before, but this tower here, this cool building with like rooftop gardens and stuff is actually pretty empty. I mean, just look at the Google street car. Okay, do you see a single person? You see some cars, but you barely see anybody. And right here is filled March, 2023. It's even more empty. There's nobody on the streets. There's even the tent over there. And yeah, I mean, San Francisco is truly getting degraded like no other. And nobody's coming here for vacation. Nobody's coming here to buy real estate. Everyone is leaving and it's honestly pretty sad. Let's see what happens. I really hope San Francisco could fix itself together. They gotta clean the streets. They gotta support the businesses because at this rate, this city is about to drop even harder in my opinion. And more people are taking their millions and billions out of the city.